human milk is making all the difference in the lives of thousands of the most vulnerable, very premature infants. Dr. Amy Hare, a neonatologist at Texas Children's Hospital, discusses the challenges these babies face and the benefits of a new system that fortifies human milk. We now have a new way to feed our most fragile and vulnerable premature infants. It's a donor human milk derived fortifier from Prolacta Bioscience. It's an all natural way to safely feed preterm infants and it's from human milk. Premature babies aren't supposed to be born yet. When they're born and they're born early, they don't get the transfer of nutrients from their mother that they're supposed to. Uh, they have fragile bones, they need extra calcium and phosphor minerals to help their bones grow, and they need additional calories, especially protein. Human milk has many important benefits. It's a medicine for especially premature babies. Human milk has antibodies, protective agents, and it's designed to meet the nutrition of infants. Dr. Hare examines the danger of the disease necrotizing enterocolitis, or NEC. In the past, we've had to rely on bovine milk or cow milk protein to help preemies grow, and that's not natural. It also puts them at increased risk of intestinal disease called necrotizing enterocolitis. Necrotizing neurocolitis is very dangerous. Um, it affects premature infants and term infants as well. Uh, it can cause babies to lose their intestine. It, if they get this disease, they need surgery. Their long-term outcomes are not as good, and some of these infants have to go on to receive intestinal or liver transplants. There are studies that have been published recently that show that an all human milk diet, so no bovine or cow protein, decreases the rate of this horrible intestinal disease by 60% medical neck um, and 90% for the type of disease that needs surgery. Use of this human milk fortifier has shown to be very successful in preventing complications. We at Texas Children's have done multiple studies using this product because we have seen its effects. We see that the babies tolerate the diet better, they have very good growth, and growth is key for premature infants. And our necrotizing enterocolitis rates, this intestinal disease, went from about 14% down to 2 to 3%. Delvin and Brandy Peaks tell us the story of their daughter, Leah. My daughter, Leah Michelle Peaks, was born uh, 23 weeks, five days gestation. Um, she was 730 grams, equivalent to about one and a half pounds when she was born. Uh, had breathing problems, which most premature babies have uh, when they're born that early gestation-wise. They said she was coming. Of course, it was the scariest thing we could have ever imagined, um, but she came and she was delivered in a matter of maybe 15 minutes. They rushed her off, but of course she had to be intubated and then it became um, of how do we feed this fragile child. So uh, they put her on breast milk and eventually began to supplement it with bovine. The way that it was explained to me, it was like ensure, almost to give her calories faster I'll never forget, it was a Sunday. They put her back on um, the bovine cow's milk, and Monday I came in and her belly looked as though she was four months pregnant. And they, um, they said, yeah, and she had a little bit of blood in her stool. And this is what I didn't want, it was NEC. I had a friend who had told me that when I had Leah, if there's one thing I remember, she said, my sister also had a preemie, and when you begin to feed her, make sure you get something called prolacta. Leah got on it and was healed. Um, her body responded well to human milk. It was medicine for her, you know, and the NEC was caught early and cleared up no preparations, um, so she was fortunate. I think Prolacta not only gave us hope as parents, uh, but uh, restored her health, uh, which was compromised at the time and, uh, you know, saved her life. Today she's active, she's 18 months, she's walking, talking, no GI issues. She's a miracle, she is amazing. 
the development of a donor human milk derived fortifier allows us to safely give high protein for these babies that are in need and to achieve the growth they need to get bigger and stronger so they can go home and be with their families. When we return, a look inside these innovations to help preterm babies. Scott Elster of Prolacta Bioscience discusses how this human milk fortifier is prepared in order to help extremely preterm infants. The first step is collecting milk from qualified mothers. Once that milk is received here, it's tested. Only milk that's qualified goes into production. We then create large batches of milk and create skim milk, take the fat off. Then we concentrate the protein or skim milk about 10 times and we then add fat back. Once that product is made, it's tested again, shipped to hospitals where it's mixed with mom's own milk to create a human milk protein shake. Additional research is ongoing for donor human milk fortifiers. Prolactive Bioscience is the only company in the world that has a human milk fortifier made from human milk. And it, we were founded based on research, but we've continued to research the benefits of human milk in micropremies. We're even now moving into babies with cardiac surgery, and we're looking at babies that are having bone marrow transplants with human milk. We have a responsibility as a leader in the science of human milk to continue to push that. Babies less than three years of age who have to have radiation therapy and then bone marrow transplants, we're feeding them human milk. And we believe that the gut bacteria might change, might benefit them, we're doing a human study there. We're looking at human milk oligosaccharides. You know, a mom, when she makes milk, the third most common constituent is human milk oligosaccharides. Those are non-digestible sugars. Why does she do that? Those are the questions we're asking. And as we continue to study milk, more and more questions are gonna to come to, to bear. And I think over the next 20 years, you're gonna see uh, numerous products come to market from human milk. Scott Elster discusses the satisfaction in being able to help these preterm babies survive. It is the greatest pleasure and privilege I've ever had. We, every day, think about how we can improve premature infant health and I get to work on products that help micropremies. And once in a while, we get a glimpse of what's happened in someone's life. And I do it for free. <laughs>